Hey everyone, welcome back. Here we are, new day, new lure. I've already started spraying some iridescent yellow on this lure because today we're going to be painting the uh, the Five of Diamonds. Another uh, new twist on an old classic and uh, yeah, if you saw the short, you know that I did a very basic Five of Diamonds and I think this one will do my version of a Five of Diamonds. Okay, next up we got some metallic white. Alright, so we've sprayed a little bit of metallic white on the underbelly just to keep that shine. And it's kind of nice when you spray it afterwards because you still keep a lot of the yellow until you angle it down and you see the white. Okay, next color. Okay, I've mixed up some iridescent yellow and red just to keep that shine going. And we'll spray some along the back. Okay, still with that uh, orange concoction we have. I have an art tool stencil here. So I sprayed on an angle just to kind of get the darker part on the back of the gill and still keep some of the yellow throughout the head. So with some metallic light brown in the brush, I sprayed the dorsal fin and we'll just do a light coat along the back. Kind of make that orange pop a little bit more. Now I'll just take a piece of paper, place it behind the gill plate here, angle my brush as close to this paper as I can, and just give a little bit of spray. There's a Q-tip with some airbrush cleaner on it. Clean up what we don't want. So as you can see that the spray of brown really makes the head details pop that much more, which is which what we want. Now, what I'm going to do is we're going to do the five of diamonds, but I'm going to make them kind of look a little more like battle damage, like some something clawed at it or bit at it. Um, I'll be using the red. Uh, according to the Len Thompson website, the initial colors were yellow and black. Uh, they changed it to yellow and red. It was just more popular. And, um, yeah, let's go take a look at, uh, at the stencil I'm going to make. Hang on. So here we have our stencil. Uh, the iridescent paint does not really like the tape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on getting this adhered to the lure, and then we'll come back and we'll, we'll have a look. All right, hang on. Okay, so we have our little fishing lure dumpling here and some Titan Buff. And... Just spray over top. Okay, now we have this crimson hue. And our blotchy micro. Let's find a small little collection here. Right. So this darker hue is going to go underneath the transparent red 
And it's gonna hopefully give it kind of like a, a fleshy look. Okay, now we have some transparent red light. And spray over everything. Okay, so it's kind of hard to see, but with the shading gray, and a little piece of paper here, we're gonna go along the edge of our diamond. All right, let's have a look at the damage here. I like it. it has kind of like that festering wound look to it. Good. Okay, next step. Okay, we have some red eyes and some red iron oxide. Give it a light dusting. Okay, let those dry, be right back. All right, in those eyes go. Alright, final product, here it is. I really like how when you uh, when you turn the lure that white comes through. It really shines up nice. And like that little bloody diamonds across the side. Yeah, I think I think that'll work. Turned out well. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and uh, bye.